good afternoon. Welcome to London World Travel Market. Today we are standing at the Swaziland stand. Yeah, and with me I've got my friend. Can you tell us your name? Yeah, so uh, my name is Jenny, Jenny Bowen, and my company is called Sense Africa, and I specialise in the kingdom of Eswatini. So I want people to have you know, the best experience they possibly can with the kingdom of Eswatini. Oh. So is your company based in Swaziland or England? Yeah, so I'm based in England, so I'm a UK tour operator, but I spend probably about five months a year over in Eswatini. I'm a, a Swazi guide um, and I've been working there in the, in the kingdom for nearly 20 years. 20 years, wow. Yeah. So you are more like a Swazi. Swati, yeah. so you are in between. So I am, yeah. I also you are enjoying. And uh, let's say, like me, I've never been to Swaziland, mm. and I want to visit Swaziland. Yeah. And can you tell me more about is it a safe place? Is it because what we know people yeah. in South African countries, what we see on TV is what we believe. Yeah. People think it's a jungle and this and that. From your point of view, how can you sell it to yeah. me? So um, Eswatini is a bit like Africa in a nutshell, so it's got a little bit of everything. So it's got the wildlife, it's got the culture, it's got the scenery, and you can travel around it really safely. I mean, a lot of people do self-drives there, they travel independently, they don't need to um, be worried about the people there, because the people are just so friendly, it's really genuine Africa. So you can stay in traditional style homestays, you can stay in game parks, you can walk amongst some of the wildlife. Uh, the scenery is just incredible and then the best thing about it is that the culture is just woven into everyday life. So you see culture all the time. So that, that's it. It's a great first time destination for people. Have you ever uh, attended a ceremony they do like the King's thing? How is it the atmosphere there? Was all here people say it's amazing, it's amazing. Yeah. I've never been there. Yeah, so I've been I've been to the Mshanga, so the reed yeah. dance, where um, at the time I saw probably about sixty thousand maidens yeah. all dancing simultaneously. Yeah. And it's a celebration of the Queen Mother as well as a celebration of womanhood out there yeah. too. So it's just an extraordinary uh, spectacle to see 60,000 people all dancing simultaneously. So yeah, it's an no, incredible place. Oh, no, that's amazing. And what you explained to me, I am sure with all the viewers who are watching, I can encourage them to visit our views of the South yes. and read and learn more about what you told me. And I'm sure from there we can help each other here, you and us. Always online in, 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 in a nice chat with you, Jane. And my name is Leonard, News of the South. 